Hello darlings, this is Julie and welcome to my channel where we talk everything sewing. Today I will show you how to make this dress which is also the same dress that I'm wearing right now. Now for the pattern you have two options. You can make the pattern yourself. I have a tutorial which I will link down in the description box. You can also get the pattern already made so I will link down my Etsy pattern shop where you can get this pattern. Now grab your fabric and let's go. Now the first thing that we will do, we will stabilize the neckline by adding fusible interfacing. Take a strip of fusible interfacing and add it to the wrong side of the neckline front and back pieces. This is how added interfacing looks like and once we have done it, we can move to the sewing machine and start working on front gathers. At the sewing machine, I want you to set the machine to the longest straight stitch, leave long thread tails at the beginning of the seam and sew a seam parallel to the curved edge about 3 millimeters from the edge. Do not secure the beginning and the end of the seams and leave long thread tails at the end and beginning of the seam. Once you made the first seam, make a second seam, again without securing the seam front and end, leaving long thread tails about 6 mm from the edge. I added these seams to both front pieces and now holding ends of the seam threads, I'm pulling the threads and start forming the gathers. I will gather the fabric to the distance indicated on the pattern detail. This is how the gathered side looks like and now I will gather the second part. Now that we have both sides gathered, pin them right sides together and we will search along this edge. Before starting searching, I added a straight seam here just to kind of stabilize the gathers and make it easier for them to search. When searching, I like to add clear elastic tape which will again stabilize the gathers and will prevent them from popping out. Once you search the seam, remove those long straight stitches that we used to create our gathers and press the seam. Be very gentle and do not overpress those gathers. Now we are continuing with assembling our dress. I want you to take front top pieces, put them right sides together and pin at the shoulders and the sides. Do exactly the same with the lining piece. Search all the seams you just pinned. Now put top bodice piece and lining pieces together, right sides together and pin along the neckline. Make sure that the shoulders are matching and also that V part of the neckline is matching as well. Starting from the back of the neckline, I want you to search around the neckline. Here the most important part is that once you come along that V part of the neckline, I want you to slightly clip it just about 1-2 millimeters left from seam allowance, straighten it out and then continue to search. This way you will get that neatly sharp V part of the neckline. Continue to search all around the neckline. In this next step, we will do understitching so that the lining is not peeking through the right side of the garment and also that we have a nicely shaped neckline. In this step, I want you to separate the right side of the garment from lining and the garment should be facing one side and the seam allowance with the lining should be on the other side. I want you to sew around the neckline about one millimeter from the lining edge and attach lining to the seam allowance. This is how this step looks finished and now you can go ahead and press your seam neatly. Now I want you to take skirt pieces, put them right sides together and search the edge. Pin the top of the skirt to the waist, right sides together and search around in the waist. This is a circular seam so I like to finish it by driving the fabric away and leaving about 7 cm thread tail which I pull through the eye of the big dull needle and then I pull that thread tail back to the seam, clip the excess threads and now I get this nice clean finish. Take sleeve pieces, fold them right sides together, pin the sides and search. Pin sleeves to place and search around the armhole. Since this is again a circular seam, finish it by pulling the threads back to the seam. Now we will do the hem. So first I mark on the right side of the garment seam allowance. Then from the inside of the garment I double fold the hem to the seam allowance and secure it to place using base stitch. This is how it looks like right now. 
Then I bring it to sewing machine where I have installed the double twin needle and then I sew around the hem. I remove the base stitch and this is how the finished hem looks like. I will finish the sleeves exactly the same way and my dress will be finished.